All right, folks, I'm here with John Noble, who plays Walter and WalterNet on um, Fringe, on Fox. And we're going to ask, John's going to answer some questions about, uh, that the Twitter people have asked. So, first off, oh, hi, John. Um, <laughs> and, and I'm not dressed for the part. I've got my hair done, but I'm just sitting in the trailer here with food. Got your little my, clips in your hair. I got my clips in my hair, and there's my wardrobe oh, yeah. sitting over there. There's Walter's there. wardrobe. Alternates. Oh, alternates. Yes. Wardrobe. Today's a alternate day. Yes. All right. Yes. All right. So, Anne Beauclair asks um, if you could play any other sci-fi character, past, present, male, female, alien. Who would you play, and why? Oh, Amber. <laughs> I don't know who I'd play. Golly, Doctor Who, maybe. Doctor Who. Oh, that'd be cool. But you probably have the best one right now, right? Uh, well, I think I do, but yes, I think so. <laughs> All right. Um, Fringe on set asks, how confident are you, are you that the writers will actually show the alternate universe people as humans and not just as bad guys? Thanks, Fringe on set. The, the whole goal of the, doing this is a, a grand experiment to see if we can do this mind game so that we, we paint both sides equally sympathetically. So... They have very good reason to be very angry on that side. If we can get that across with a degree of honesty, and the writers are, are trying, you know, they're, they're writing the characters beautifully. So, fingers crossed. Whether the whether you guys will accept it or not is another matter. All right. Um, Natticat asks, what aspects of Walter and Walternet and backstory that have not been addressed yet do you want to see in the future? Natticat, I'd, I'd love to see, I'd love, I would personally love to find out a lot more about, develop a lot more about water and its background, because I, I've got it in my head what's happened, but we don't show it. But whether we get time to do it's another matter. And uh, with with Walter, uh, where does he go? You know, we've, we've seen him come from an absolute mess coming out of a mental institution through to a more stable and, and still kind of random character. But where does he go? So, I mean, I, I guess what I'm looking to see is what's the logical development for, for a person on this journey and it is a journey, and you know, it depends how many seasons we have to play with it. But, but I've got some fairly strong ideas which I discuss with the writers, and uh, it's their final call. But there's plenty to be done. All right. 